everyone. Great pleasure to be here. Um, so I will skip the slide. Um, so I don't think I need to reiterate this in front of this audience, but AI is truly the new electricity, as famous, famously said by Andrew Ning. And it's, it's really the new electricity because it has a potential to change every single industry and really like, update the fabric of the society and, and the way we work as humans. But surprisingly to me, the web industry, web design and web development is still unchanged. AI haven't yet been able to help people work more efficiently in, in this industry. And to me, this is, this is amazing, right? We have self-driving cars hitting the road right now. We have like space rocket landing themselves uh, autonomously, and yet we have to still build application websites the old school, tedious way. So we like to believe that, we like to see website and, and application development as a very straightforward process where you get an ID, you create some wireframes with your team, then you get a designer on board, you create branding around it, you give it to a developer, and at the end of the day you have a, a working application. But it turns out this workflow is broken in many ways. It takes forever to go from the left side to the right side, and the truth is you will iterate multiple times before you are actually ready to release your application. Um, and because it takes time, you can't put the feature you would like to put, and you have to, to take shortcut, which is bad for the user at the end of the day. So we took a step back to try to solve this, this problem in a, in a different way. And so we took a step back and look at how designers and developers are working today. And most projects talk like this. People like to sketch. They get their team in a, in a, in a meeting room and they sketch their ideas on the whiteboard. They sketch their ideas on paper. This is still the way humans think, um, convey ideas from the, brain, some from the brain to the paper is a great way to, to think. And as a matter of fact, Consumer electronics manufacturer have been spending millions of dollars trying to simulate the pen and paper feeling with, with graphic tablets, like the, like the one that I guess the team were using before during the panel session uh, to draw um, the, the session. But at the end of the day, even though if, if you draw your ideas using this technique on the old school way on a pen and paper, you still have to start from scratch again once the designer will turn this wireframe into a prototype and then the developer will turn this wireframe into code. So at Wizard, we tried to solve this by teaching machines to understand user interfaces visually the same way people do. I mean, as a person, I look at the wireframe, I know exactly what it is. There is buttons, there is label, there is text field. We should be able to do this automatically. And to do this, we leverage deep learning, and some inspiration comes from image captioning. This used to be science fiction just five years ago. Now we can give an image to a computer, and it will output an English description of this picture. We can do the same. We can give an image to, to, to a computer and we could get code um, out of, out of, on, on the output side. We're also extremely inspired by image segmentation, which is used in self-driving cars to try to make sense of the road uh, and, and see what's, what's out there. The result is a technology that can take a mock-up um, and turn it into a prototype. So let me show you how it works. So here you can open the web app um, you've drawn something on a piece of paper, you take a picture, you ship this to the algorithm, which is sitting in the cloud, and after a couple of seconds, the algorithm will have understood what is on the picture, and you will have a prototype. From this prototype, you can just get the code directly, so that your developer can start from something better than scratch. All your designers can go ahead and customize uh, the, the look and feel. This is the reason why we're doing this. Prototypes is really a time saver for teams to build application and build software-based solution. And we believe that our solution will allow teams to work more efficiently and build better product. So we're based in Copenhagen, beautiful Copenhagen in Denmark, and we are currently hiring top machine learning and computer vision engineers. And if you want to try our beta, you can just sign up on our, on our, um, on our website. Thank you very much. <laughs>